Hello and happy summer solstice to you all. Shra, say hi. Okay. <laughs> so we're just taking our afternoon or pardon me, morning stroll in the park. And this is now my fourth year of country living um, here in Korea. So I just want to do a quick little vlog about it and why I stayed on for another year. Um, so basically back in, basically back in like January, December, I had made up my mind I was going to go home to Florida and begin my teaching certification course. And if you see on my Instagram pa um, page that I started my course with ABCTE, or American Board Certification Teacher Excellence. So yeah, ABCTE. <laughs> and um, I was going to start that and then come home for the summertime, take my exams, and then try to get certified as a Florida teacher by August. Okay, and she's totally like wrapping me up my legs. Um, but then in March, like the week that school began, because the school semester in Korea starts in March, and I told my school, it's like, you know, I'm gonna go back home. And there was some other stuff that's going on as well. Like I hated where I was living before. Actually, I didn't hate where I was living. I just hated the fact that I couldn't have a pet. And uh, Shiraz was staying with other people. And I was like, I'm, I'm the one who rescued her. I'm her foster mommy. I should be the one raising her and looking after her, not someone else. So, um, yeah, my landlord was like anti-animals. Yeah, it's weird. We're like a big three-bedroom farmhouse, and there was like no pets allowed. And yeah, he got um, a bit uh, rude with some of my friends when they called to petition on my behalf. So that just made me feel like, okay, I'm living out here in the middle of nowhere. It's been three years. I'm by myself, big house, and like there's nothing surrounding me. I mean, I had Bluebell, the cow next door, but that was it. So that and, you know, the isolation, the loneliness, and the fact that I was like, okay, let me just go teach someplace else, all culminated in me telling my school in March, I'm leaving. And then they were just like, literally my co-teacher's face, my Korean co-teacher's face was like, no. <laughs> she's like, you can't leave. You cannot leave. So the following week I had a meeting with the principal and she's like, okay, we'll get you a new house. We'll move you into the town. And, um you know, in a pet friendly place. And I was like, okay, I'll stay another year then. <laughs> so <clears throat> I delayed starting the program because I'm a major procrastinator. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Charles, come here. So I delayed starting the program. I started two weeks ago. But all of last week, I was sick. I was like, and I'm still slowly recovering. My body's slowly recovering. I should be wearing a face mask because you can see it's kind of hazy. It's a yellow day. Green, yellow, and red are the air days. So green is gray, yellow, eh, red. Ugh. I think they even go to purple when it's really, really bad. Um, <clears throat> so it's a yellow day, and so I should be wearing a face mask. But <coughs> you can hear my cough is still bad. So I didn't get to start the program, or I read a couple of articles last week, but I was just like, I just want to sleep. The medication I was on made me hella drowsy, y'all. Anyway, um, so I've begun reading it, and hopefully <clears throat> for Christmas, God willing, I'll be back home in Florida, and I can take my exams then. So I'll have about six months to finish my studies. It's normally, the program is designed for you to take it in a year, um, but I want to try and do it within six months. And then take my exams then. Oh, no, no, no. Sit, 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 sit. Um, so that's the plan. And no, I'm now in the town part. So about 30 minutes I have to carpool. Oh, no, baby. No, 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 no. Pause, pause, pause. Dirty pause, dirty pause. Um, so I have to carpool to my town, my village I was in, four days a week uh, with two of my coworkers. And then one day I go to another village on a bus. Um, unfortunately, the bus system between the countryside, no, no, sweetie, sweetie, pause, pause, the countryside and the, um, and the town, it's not really the best. So, yeah, but, um, you know, so that's working out. Hopefully I can get a car by next month, July or early August. We'll see. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. So, uh, country living, it's our town living versus the country life. They're both slow paced. Um, it's not fast, like. Seoul or Busan, not at all, definitely not at all. Country life, I think anywhere is country life. It's just a nice, more laid back pace. To me, the people are friendlier as well versus the big cities. And the only difference, you know, other than the distance I have to travel now uh, to get to work, it's um, I have to wake up earlier. <laughs> I was the time to be, I'm 
normally still in bed at this time if we're still in the village. And yeah, now I'm up at like five. I wake up at five in the morning. I don't probably get out of bed until like 5.30. So and then I come get ready and then start walking this crazy one. Yeah. Say hi, folks. Hi, beautiful people. My name is Shiraz. So, um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend if it's your first time in Korea, I think it might be a bit difficult for you, especially if you're used to the bigger city life. But if you're an introvert and if you don't mind, you know, this laid back life, country life is it. And teaching in the country versus the city, um, for me, well, the village, I should say, versus the town, it's better because in, like, one of my friends, she teaches in the, here in the town, and she's got, like, four grade six classes. I have one grade six class, and there's only 10 students, and each of her grade six classes has over 25 students, or some number like that. So she doesn't really get to build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with her students, whereas I have that with my students. Um, my entire elementary school is only 39 kids in the entire school. <laughs> um, and another school, my other middle school, one is 23 kids and another, there are 70, 70 plus, but half um, are on the baseball team. So they're actually like boarding type school. But from the actual village kids, there's only like 35 kids. Um, so yeah, so I'd say it's, it's a good life. As I said, it's the fourth year now. And I'm debating going back for next year. Um, if they want me to extend for a fifth year, then I probably would. I spoke to my mom and grandma the other day, and they were just like, the state of education of Florida, K through six, which is what I'm getting certified for. She's, they're like, it's really not that good right now. Um, before, when I was a student in Florida, K through six, you know, teachers, they actually were paid and respected. And I guess that was a whole thing, like, all over the country in the U.S. But um, it's really gone down in terms of quality um because i remember k through six or you know we actually had a good it was actually a good setup not i can remember as a student i should say and the only thing i remember <clears throat> people complain about were the university systems back then whereas so that's why i went out of state for university this was pre pre recession by the way um long before the recession but then i heard i read that now florida has number one or yeah, I think number one in terms of um, higher ed within the country. They're number one. And <clears throat> K through six, though, it's it's bad. I think they're down to like maybe 40-something. So, yeah, this is pretty sad, I think. So my mom's just like, yeah, don't go back. You know, the kids are pretty OOC <laughs> as well. Parents don't want to parent, which I think tends to be the case all over. Um, had the same issues in Malaysia as well. So, yeah, and a few kids here who are naughty side. We also have those little naughty kids here in Korea. But, um, <clears throat> you know, so I don't know yet for next year. I'm just going to take it one day at a time. And, yeah, so that was a little, little quick vlog I wanted to share with you guys. Life in the country, taking it easy. And I'm going to go back, drop her back home, eat some breakfast, and get ready for my carpool in about 40 minutes. <laughs> ciao, ciao.